And when you give these sessions, um, what do you hope that the children will take away from them? You almost have to split the question a bit because um, th there's clearly a sort of targeting of African Caribbean children um, uh, and, and trying to build their self-esteem, self-respect and trying to give them a perspective on their potential and what, what is possible. But um, there are other children in the class and what I'm trying to do is to get them to look at uh, black culture, black history and the contribution to black British history with more, as, as I said, appreciative eyes because um, that's, that's important. I've come across examples where young people have believed that black people were only ever slaves. Well, okay, um, if we're talking about the last 400 years of history minus um, the period after enslavement, yeah, there's a certain truth to that, but it's not the whole truth. And, um, and the, the bigger picture is actually more interesting than just looking at, at black folk like they were only slaves. So, you know, there's a, there's a bigger picture. And I'm trying to get that across in terms of my, my delivery and um, the conversations that I'm having with young people and the questions that I'm encouraging them to ask um, through the sessions. And what is that bigger picture? The bigger picture is um, very much about um, viewing uh, um, African Caribbeans through a different lens. Often uh, histories are given to us. Whoever writes the histories gives us the history. It's his story. But nobody really understands my story. And when I say my story, I'm talking about as an individual, I'm talking about my community, I'm talking about my, my people. Nobody really understands that. And if you're trying to build the appreciation of diversity and equality in this country, it really starts from the point of understanding who we are. You know, so if I don't understand you and where you're coming from, your history, your culture, I can't embrace you. You know, that's how relationships are built on understanding uh, and, and compromise in, in terms of our, our understanding of, of other peoples. So um, that's what I want to I build towards the African Caribbean community and that's what I want to build with, uh, in terms of our community, reaching out to others, being able to have those kind of discussions on a, on a, on a level playing field, if you like. It's often the case that, you know, um, uh, white British history is sort of here and black British history is sort of down here. And Often as African Caribbeans, what we sometimes do is we try to bring that history down to here, when what we need to worry about is just, just leave that there for, for the moment and try building this up to here. And that's what I do. I'm building our African Caribbean history, our African history, our black history, rather than spending time sort of tearing down the other side because that, that's not empowering. So for me, the big picture is about empowerment. It's about self-empowerment you know, and your ability to make a wider contribution to society. Do you make a connection between the work that you do in schools with children and tackling broader inequality in British society? Uh, absolutely. Um, I mean, I think um, there's two parts to inequality. There's what, what is done to you and, and what is withheld from you to enable you to do for yourself. Um, and through the education system, sometimes information is withheld so it doesn't, doesn't give you a full understanding of your potential. Uh, sometimes it's the case that a certain history of enslavement is given to you with no context provided and therefore, um, and therefore acts as more of a disempowering tool than an empowering tool. And it's just the way the story is told, that's all. You know, there's not a problem with slavery being taught in school. Um, it's sometimes, you know, um, who's telling it and, and what they're saying.